Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Establish a bus route with at least three stations and drive it. Okay. That's in Kutsk. So I need to go and establish a bus route, but I've also got to get the stuff coming through here. So what I'm thinking, first up, this railway here it comes into one and then it goes out again i don't like how this is working so i'm going to get rid of that one and that one there and then i'm going to go back into here and i'm going to take that one and i'm going to bring that around yeah see i don't like that let me get rid of that i'm going to get rid of that bit and i'm going to get rid of some of that and then i'm going to take this train track here and i'm going to go from there and i'm going to go around to there like that and then you get rid of that one. Get rid of that little bit that comes out of there. And then I want to go back in here to rail and take you. And that's going to just hug the side of that bit to there like that. So that they're separate tracks. And that one's going to come over to there. So just slight redesign on that. Nothing major. Just a very, very small redesign. But then what I want to do is I want to build a train station that comes up to the Port Baikal Steelworks. So it's just going to be a short railway run. I'm going to need to do anything grand on this. So we've got the passenger to cargo station. Cargo terminus station right there. So I want to rotate that bad boy around like that. And I want that one to be up on a level with that like that. I'll bring it back over here. One station... One tra Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a double track on that one, just in case it actually proves worthwhile. So I'm gonna drop that there. Half a million because of where we are up in the air, like that. And then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to track. So I'm gonna bring that one around. So there's the track that I've got at the moment, and that one's going to go over and join up onto. Ooh, which side do I do? I'm sort of thinking, yeah, I think that side, just in case I've got to do something obscene, like a track all the way across over there. So we'll do it on this side. I'll do it like that. So there is the bridge. It goes right across and all the way into our station, which is all the way up there. Right. Now, do I have... I don't have any way of crossing over that track. That doesn't act, that there's not a, an ability to do that. And I don't have a train, oh, I, no, I don't. I've got, I've got a, a thing over there for ships, but I don't have anything else. So I will come back down here and I will put in another building and we'll put this one in. Uh, that bad boy is going to go over here like this. And I'm going to drop that one down there because this one, it's going to have a track that comes out onto there, like that. And it's going to have a track that comes out onto there, like that. So I've got both tracks covered. I'm now able to sort of go back and forth between uh, both of them right there. We're going to get a new line on here. The Port Baikal Station. New line. Get rid of you. Port Baikal Cargo Station and Port Baikal over there. And then we will go into here and I will go to the Port Baikal Train Depot. Buy vehicles in here. Na Ooh. Right, diesel I don't have any. Electric I don't have any. So I've got a number of steam options here. We've got the Russian class V-Type 1. Right there, 45k. It doesn't really matter about the speed. Uh, mostly we're after power and tractive effort on these. So the uh, Russic, the Russic Russian class T type 1 right there is 140 and 30 kilonewtons for tractive effort. 50 kilonewtons here and the Russian class uh, GV, Russian class B is 60. The class PV right there is 60 as well. This is quite the beast, this tra this this train is. I was going to say tractor. It's not a tractor. We're not playing farming simulator. 130 kilonewtons cla um, right there with tractive effort. 310 kilowatts of power. That is quite the beast. 
the class F fairly, and then the Russian class OB. That is a lot less on the killer newtons. This one here seems to be kind of the, the, suited. The most characteristic feature of this steam locomotive is its symmetry. It's ideal for complex route profiles with tight curves and steep climbs. It does have a bit of a climb on it. Now, if I was to add that one there, that's a one point. Like, that is an expensive train to be using. Let's have a look at what's this. Maybe we should go with something like that. Hmm. No, I'd like to have this one. I'd like to go with this one right here. And then we will go with cargo wagons over here. We've got the box cart, which that cargo type. Flat car with side stakes, which is for the steel. And the gondola is for those cargo types there. So there's this one right here that I need to add. And I will add... Wait. Does it not add them? Why is it not joining them in? It's got one on there. It should just add them in, and then it, it adds in the, the things afterwards, doesn't it? One there, seven capacity. That one goes over there. Does it have one each side? I'm wondering about that. Add there. Not one on the back. But there's a, there's a big gap right there, look. If I move that one over, look, you, you've got a, this huge, great big gap on it. I'm going to add three more like that. That's, that's gone down to mediocre there on, on tractive effort. Top speed for slopes is still saying medi Right, it's 28 capacity. I think for the distance that we're going to be traveling, I think 28 is absolutely fine. So I will buy that for 2 million on there. This train right here. I know that some of you would far rather be named have a train named after you rather than anything else i just go through the list as i come to it so i've i've literally got um no option but to just go for what i i see right in front of me so this one is peter heap it's going to go there um but we will get right through the list in this series and we'll go back through the list again so you'll probably end up with a couple of different vehicles named throughout the course of this series so th th there will be um, different vehicles that you'll end up with. Um, I want to... Line 3, this one is. So you need to be set to that colour. And then we will set you on to line 3 like that. So let's go and have a look at the Peter Heap train over here. This is the double-sided train. It's pretty cool. And it does have the, the, the cars on the back of it. So that, that does work. That seems all right. But that is a very strange looking train, isn't it? Look at that bad boy. Let's, let's follow you along, shall we? There. I like this train. This this train is a very cool looking train. I, 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 I've decided I actually, I really like this train. I think this train looks very cool. And this is a train that we're going to be using a bit more of. So there we go. And then he swaps around like that. Off he goes again. That does look pretty good. I like that. And it'd be interesting to see if it would go with the, the like the cars in the middle. Like if this one was uh, two cars on each side of it. But I'm going to leave that go for a minute. So uh, Kutsk, I need to go up here with the advertising. I establish a bus route with at least three stations and drive it here in Irkutsk. So I need to go around here. I don't have a warehouse here i don't have a, a road port i do think that maybe establishing a connecting road between port baikal and uh, kutsk would be a good idea so that's one thing that i'd like to do right now i'm going to just pause that a second as i build a road across here uh, that is um, a street is that a medium street that i've got perfect i, I don't uh we'll just go with no that's already a medium street, right. That's a medium street through there. So then I will do that. Yeah, like that. So the road comes up over where the train is. From here, I'm going to bring that medium street out a little bit. As far as there, then I'm going to go with a medium road like this. And that medium road... I'm going to bring it over to here. I'm going to take... No, medium road. 
You're going to go in a straight line over to that one there. Like that. And I'm going to take medium street. And I'm going to join that bit down to there like that. And join that together. So I've got the two towns are now connected via a road. Which I do think is something that's going to be helpful. It's also going to be helpful to me. Because the other thing that I want to do is I want to go into here. And I want to build a road depot. I want to rotate that bad boy around like that. I want to put this road depot in here. And I'll bring that. We'll drop that one down there. That will now supply both the towns. So I only need to have the one of them in there. Bus tram stop is our next port of call. So you right here. I love the way, like that is a wonderful little quality of life improvement. Is the little tiny arrow showing which direction the traffic will be moving when you make use of this one. That is an absolutely wonderful little tiny addition. It's, it's, it's not a big thing at all, but it is... Such a wonderful little addition to it. So I'm going to put that one there. So that will cover most of the town over there. And then I'm going to have another one over here. She's going to put it back there. Like that. And I'm going to do one more over here. I'm going to have four of them. Right. We're just going to run around in a little loop like that. So I will build a new line. Let's just play a minute actually I just want to make sure the train yeah we, well we know the train will get across there it's, it's got no issues at all getting across that bit it will go over here we've already got some steel there waiting to load I'll let that carry on and do what it's going to do a second and I simply want to go new line in here and I want to go one Queen Street over to Victoria Road and we already had a new road was just added in here. Wasn't it? Or was that upgraded? Some, something happened here. I don't quite know what it was. As the, the town has um, improved. And I'll put that one over to there. Right. That's what I'd like. There's that one. It's done. So then I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to want the Port Baikal Road Depot number 2. Which is this one. And I want to buy some vehicles from this one. So I need passenger. I've only got the drosh key right here, which is capacity of five. I'm going to get four of those running around the town. I will set the color on those, which is the blue line right there. It's not that that's going to show up very much. And then we will very quickly give them some names. So we've got Hitman 1422, Myopic Illumination, Travis Dudley, and John... Not Jan. John Harnett is our last one right there. Yes. And John Harnett. And those five will be set to line four. Like that. Right. They're away out and on their way to line four. And here is our new... Ooh. Okay, that is a fancy looking carriage. Right there, that is a fancy looking carriage. Is it not a fancy looking carriage? Now it says that I need to drive the the route. Manage vehicle. Anything else I need to do on it? No. I simply need to allow it to go round the different stations. Delivering steel. We've now delivered some more steel. And we've got other traffic going between the two towns now. They're actually heading off between the two towns over here. So we're going to just watch this one. This carriage is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is a truly beautiful looking carriage. It really is. So John Harnett is coming up this way. Where's he going? I've got a station up here somewhere. A, a, a station, a, a bus stop. He should. I've already got one right there. Advertising one station. Now, am I needing to do this, or is someone else needing to do this? I've got nobody on board me at the moment, but I'm assuming that is going to change. Let me go whizzing on up through here. The next station is there, the Queen Street... Uh, the, the Queen Street... The Queen Street Station! The Queen Street Station, and then two of three right there. There's going to be another one done in a second. So I'm just going... There what we go. a disgrace! In reality, the Association of Sable Breeders turned out to be a group of subversive subjects who are conspiring to overthrow the Tsar. 
You must prevent the meetings at all costs. Oh dear. Right, let's slow that down a minute. Find the meeting points of the conspiracy and demolish them. Precise filtering will make the three rendezvous points visible with certainty. Precise filtering? How do I precisely filter? Precise filtering will make the three rendezvous points possible. Well, let's start off with land use, track speeds, limit, destinations, cargo, stations, traffic, emissions layer, HUD icon. Cargo. I got a cargo layer over here. That's not really showing anything. Destinations. Ooh, look. There's destinations here. So what's this? Private transport, residential. 16 destinations right there. 16. Oh, I see. That's the destinations that are coming off of this. Precise filtering. And that's the ones that are coming off of this route here and off of the main road there. Track speeds. I don't want limits. Value of property. Is there anything to do with the value of property? I don't think so. Navigable. Excellent. Water. The first leg has been completed. Tsar Nicholas is extremely pleased. But the terrain is treacherous. A muddy quagmire in the summer, frozen solid in winter. Thanks to stable steel structures, the tracks are luckily going to stay right where they are. Nothing happens without materials. Now make sure that they are ready and waiting by the time the next leg is to be completed. Supply the second construction site with stone. Right, stone for the second construction site. The stone is over here. There's the second construction site. I've got a railway that comes over here. I've got the Mysoft quarry over there. I need th uh, 60 stone delivered to that one. There is the construction site. The Bailisk cargo station there. Hmm. Well, what I can do is I can put a station right here. Rail buildings cargo station right there right you can't just drop that in and join into the track so i'm gonna have to do this a little bit differently to what i originally suspected uh that one's got to come around that way and then what i'm gonna need to do is bring it around a little bit further i'm gonna need to get rid of that one that one that one and that one then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to go with this station. Right, is that going to work on there? I can join that onto the end of the track. I'll need to join a road to that one, won't I? That's what I'll need to do. In order to be able to connect it, I will need to connect up a road with that bit of the station. So I can join, maybe I could put the station over there. Like if I, the station down there, that does actually connect up to it. So we need a road first. Streets on here. A group of hunting tourists from Europe is eager to shoot a bear. As luck would have it, construction work has driven off most of the bears. But as for the woman, they are relatives of the Tsarina herself. So a bear is an absolute must. The circus currently performing in the Irkutsk has a tired old circus bear. Maybe things could work out in the end. What? You want me to take an old retired circus bear and just put it out for some rich spoiled woman from the city to shoot? The circus wants yeah. to move on as early as tomorrow. But if a big enough audience can be organized, it might stay for an extra performance. Bring people to the circus. Right. We'll leave that bit where it is for a minute. I'm going to go here and I'm going to upgrade that street right there. Then I'm going to take a new street and we're going to go out from here. And that new street is going to go up as far as... 
there like that. I'm not going to go any further than that. Then I'm going to take a train cargo station and that one I want to put there. But I'm also going to want to join it onto there. So I need I need to have the two of them together, really. If I put that one in like that, that might be far enough away. Let's build the road. Let's extend this road. Actually, that road I can... I'll, I'll delete this road. I was going to come off of there. I'm going to change the road slightly. It's going to go out this way. The road's going to go to there, like that. And then I'm going to get this station... And I'm going to put it there like that. And then I'm going to go back to the road. No. Go back to the road here. And I'm going to bring that up there like that. So that's connecting up to that station. I'm hoping. Yes. Right. I've now got a connection there between those two. Then I can go back here and we'll go back to the track that I was using over here. So that one will come out and it will go over to there. Like that. That's the nearest one on this side, which is the same one I used over there. That's good. And then I've got those two. So I've now got something going between this station up here and the station down there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we, we don't need to worry about anything else. So then I can go into buildings and I can go to you. And I will turn you around. I'm going to bring this one and stick it over here in the middle of the countryside. That one's going to go up there. And I'm going to take a track out of that one. And it's going to go onto here like that. That is indeed joining on. Right. So then I will go here and we will go new line. And that will go from Misovskarja. 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 Uh, over to Baikalsk Cargo Station. It's just going to go between the two. I'm not going to do anything different than that, just between the two. And then I will go into here, and it's that one, the Misovskarja Train Depot there. Take you, and I want to buy some vehicles. Delivering steel, 22 of 60. That's gone down. I had all of them in there, didn't I? Or is it still taking its time? It might still be taking its time. Locomotives. Now, this time, we've got the bigger Russian one. I've got the Russian class one here, so 60 kilonewtons. Tractive effort is quite an important there. And that one's quite high, but I'm not getting another one of them. I'm going to go with one of these. Nice, big, shiny engine. I've got loads of cash, so I don't need to worry about the money. The money is not important. And then we go into cargo in here, and I need one that will carry stone. Which is going to be the gondola over here. So I will go one, two, three, four, five. That's still good there with a capacity of 35. If I get rid of that, it's excellent. So it's nice, fast acceleration on that one. I think that's pretty good. We only want the one. We're not going to need any more than one. So this train down here, this one is going to be called... What, what, what am I up to? This, this train right here is going to be called... Who's there? Spelt like this. Who's there? Like that. Who's there? And I'm well. I'm assuming that's what we how we pronounce that name. And then, who's there is going to be. Wait, what color is this line? This is a pink line. That one right there. And I'm going to assign you onto line five. Right, that one is assigned to line five. I'm not going to bother going and looking at him. Actually, yes. Let's go and have a look at him running. We will watch who's there just running a minute because we, we haven't seen it. So just have him out of the station. In all his pink glory, this is absolute... Look at that train! Ha ha! Okay, that is a very cool train. I like the train. I'm guessing it may have looked a little better in its original colours. But um, yeah, I, I like that train. Okay. We'll pause everything there, and I need to go back over here, and I need to be able to find where these people are. It said something about the appropriate use of industry statistics. That's not going to benefit me. Town statistics. I've got very good. So I've got growth plus 40%. Okutsk is growing nicely. I've also got to get some passengers over to there, which we will do soon. But something about... Preventing the meeting. 
Find the meeting points for the conspiracy. Precise filtering will make the three rendezvous points visible with certainty. What filtering? This is the bit that I'm confused about, is what filtering. This is our data layers that we've got. So we've got filtering up there. And if I go into here and I go land value for a start, right, I'm sort of thinking that land value, maybe this is something to do with it. Right, I've got commercial buildings up there. Destinations layer. Those are residential buildings there. So where are, if, if those are destinations there, I've got some residential buildings here and another one over there. Precise filtering. 15 destinations from there. So what's that? Stations. I don't want that bit. Residential. All right, I've got two small residential ones right there. Uh, that's nothing to do with what I want. Private transport, public transport. Right there. So it's private transport over around here. Now look this side. We, we've got public, uh, private transport. It's, it's moving around. This one's quite high. Industrial building, industrial building. Residential buildings. This layer here is emissions. So this is where we're getting our emissions from for different ones. That's uh, the, the residential homes. Like that. Emissions at Cursor. They're lower down over there than they are over this way. HUD icon. Ah, filter, right. Use of filters. Oh, I see. Right. That, that, that just brings in those icons there. So there's emissions. Street traffic in here. Player owned. I don't think that's going to help me. Stations layer. Cargo layer. Commercial supply, industrial supply, and transport. Right, well, there doesn't seem to be anything in the way of cargo or anything like that that's going around through here. And it's in... Uh, did it... It is definitely in Irkutsk that it's happening, isn't it? It did say that. It, it, this is where it sent me. Right, so I've got residential public destinations layer. It's, it's understanding all of these. And that, that is what some of this is for. Um, Irkutsk in here. So this is where my destinations are. So I've got... Ah, right. I can zoom right in and I can see these different destinations in here. And then I zoom out a little bit. Sort of closes them together a bit. Ten in here. That doesn't give... It doesn't seem to give me... It's like the, that's the number of destinations in that area. I got a residential building here. Is it something to do with the residential buildings? Workplace is 12, vacant, none. Workplace is 4, workplace is 12. Don't know if that's anything to do with it. Just put that back to all. And track speeds, land use. I'm very confused by this. How am I supposed to use this to figure out where people are going? Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.